Hello, Santa Claus. Hi, children. So this week we have an exciting story where Joshua is leading the people across the Jordan. Yeah. Similar to what? The crossing of the Red Sea, isn't it? Yeah, I think the miracle is pretty similar. Yeah. God has done it again. He's taken his people across the River Jordan. We are bound for Canaan land, tenting by the way. Who shall lead us on the road? Choose your king today. Dare to stand like Joshua, dare to say the word. As for me and all my house, we will serve the Lord. Many trials we have seen, thus far on the way. He has led us safely through, shall he lead today? Dare to stand like Joshua, dare to say the word. As for me and for my house, we will serve the Lord. Just before a Jordan rose, just across the way, we can safely trust the Lord, He shall lead today. Dare to stand like Joshua, dare to say the word. As for me, and for my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me, and for my house, we will serve the Lord. Time for our story now, and we're going to look at more of the life of Joshua. Can you remember what happened last week? He sent two spies over the River Jordan to see what it was like in Jericho, to see whether they could conquer it. And the two spies were hidden and then they came back and they said to Joshua, yeah, this is a great place, we can conquer it. They're all frightened of us. They were really cheerful and excited. We're sure God is going to give us the whole country, just as he promised, they told Joshua. But before the people could get into Canaan, they had to cross the River Jordan. Now this was easier said than done. The men and young people might have managed to wade across this river. But there were large flocks of sheep and goats, and probably camels and donkeys too, as well as mothers and babies and toddlers to be helped across. Besides, the river was in full flood. The low jungle-like land on the side of the banks of the river was covered in water and the river itself was a rushing swollen torrent. You can imagine the river going flushing right past. This meant that everyone couldn't get across. But Joshua trusted God and obeyed him. And he followed God's orders and he's going to cross the river. And this is how they were going to do it. But first, Let's see Joshua. He's looking at the river and it's a raging torrent. What will he do? The priests are going to carry the Ark of the Covenant chest deep into the river first, he said. Then you must all follow. The gold covered chest was the most precious piece of furniture in God's tent. As soon as the priests waded into the river, the water began to move more sluggish. Then they stopped, then it stopped flowing altogether. The priests, with their precious load, walked into the middle of the river and stood there, while all the company of Israel walked across. Here they are. There's the priests with their Ark of the Covenant in the middle of the water, with dry land there, and the people of Israel are walking over with their donkeys and carts 
And there's Joshua watching. I'm not sure the camel wants to go, but I'm sure he went over in the end. So that's how they all crossed over. When everybody was over, the priests stepped ashore on the far side and the waters of the Jordan began to flow again. Joshua told one man from each of the 12 tribes to pick a stone from the riverbed and carry it to the other side. When Joshua collected all 12 stones, he built them into a mound. When your children ask you in years to come, what this heap of stones is? What is it? I don't know. He told them, you'll be able to tell them the wonderful story of how God brought us safely over the River Jordan and into the Promised Land. And we'll hear more of what they did in the Promised Land next week. It's time for the memory verse again. Can you remember it from last week? It said, Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Can you remember the actions? Let's try it. One, two, three. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Another miracle. Gosh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, now that they have crossed the Jordan River, it's about um, preparing for war, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, the battle lines are about to be drawn. But before we enter into any challenge, any battles, we must first consult our Father up above. Yeah. So tell you what, children, before we go out and face this week's challenges and battles, why not let us consult our Father up above and ask for guidance and protection and a strategy as to how to overcome our obstacles and enemy? <laughs> Carly. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you are still the God of miracles. And you do continue to work miracles in our lives. Sometimes we, we don't recognize them. But Lord, we thank you that that doesn't change the fact that it is true. Lord, we ask that you would help us to seek you as always, Father, to seek you as our first point of call for wisdom, for guidance in the challenges that we face. Help us to come to you and to talk to you, or Daddy. This we ask in your precious name. Amen. Amen. See you next week. Bye.